Now this episode comes to you because of popular demand. Loads of people getting in touch saying, what about bikes? Why don't you ever do anything about bikes? Bikes are really cool, they're really eco. So I said, all right then. So now I'm cycling along this country lane on a bike just for you. Well, actually, the thing is, it's incredibly easy to ride because I'm getting a little bit of help. Whoa! People say electric vehicles will never catch on, they're too expensive to buy, there's, not, there's no recharging infrastructure, there's loads of excuses as to why no one's going to ever buy them. Well, one of the little known facts is there are already over 125 million electric vehicles on the road around the world. And this is one of them. It's an amazing machine. I want one. I want this one. That is such fun. That is just the most brilliant fun. So, talk me through it, really, because I've just been zooming around on it. it yep. just goes, it's like I've got the size of a gold medal <laughs> Tour de France cyclist. So that's it. It's got an electric motor in the hub there. Yeah, so there's a brushless electric motor in the hub, which is 250 watts, right. um, which is the legal limit. Yep. Um, you've then got your battery, um, right. which gives you the power. Um, and then on the crank here, uh, you have a torque sensor. So right. as you pedal, there's um, a spring-loaded effect and there's optical sensors. As wow. you compress the spring, the optical sensors note, and that's it, it applies the power. Wow. Because that is what it is a, quite an odd feeling. So to get going, yeah. when you first sit on it, you've got, yeah. you're going, well, this is an electric bike. No. And then you suddenly find yourself going, and you go, my yeah, God, suddenly you're that's off. not me doing that, but it, it's, it's a really good fun to ride. Mm. And it's not, I mean, it isn't like, it is heavier than a sort of lightweight bike, yeah. but barely. I mean, a lot of the weight now is in the motors, obviously right. the magnets and everything else. Yeah. You know, batteries are relatively light now, controllers. So yeah, yeah. 19 kilos. It's basically exactly the same. It's got gears like yep. on a regular bike. That's right. And the gear shift. I sort of got used to that in a minute. But the battery's removable, so oh, right. um, you have a key. Oh. And what? out it comes. And wow. Very lightweight. Oh my god, this <laughs> yeah. I was expecting it to be this huge, heavy thing. That really doesn't weigh anything. Presumably, it doesn't take that long to recharge. No, it's uh, a couple of hours from flat, right. and that'll take you up to sort of 20, 25 miles. Um, so I'm going to see if I can put that back in. Yeah. Uh, you just lock it in, right. and it's um, once it's in properly, it's secure. Right, that is fantastic. But that means you can leave it in your shed, garage, outside the house, around the yep. back, locked up. Yep. Take the battery with you, recharge it. Yeah. So what about this one? Then, when this one looks a lot chunkier and a, bit, a bigger yep. machine. Yeah. Well, I think the best thing. Have a go. Oh my God! <laughs> this is an amazing experience. I am cycling up a hill. My legs are going around on the pedals, but it, honestly, it feels like I'm cycling along a slight downhill gradient. Because on this bike, the engine is a little bit more powerful. It's got a slightly bigger battery. I can go slightly faster. Other than that, it's exactly like riding a bike. It's got brakes there. It's got twist grip gears there. It's very, very smooth and comfortable bike to ride. If I put a little bit more pressure on the pedals, like that, then I start to speed up quite alarmingly. <laughs> Apparently a very common question when people come across bikes like this is, can I recharge it just by pedaling it when it's stationary? The simple answer is no, you can't. It just doesn't work like that. If you sat still and pedal for hours and hours and hours, which is what you'd have to do, you might be able to charge the batteries if you had a generator attached to the wheel, but that's not how these bikes work. They work by plugging them into the mains for a couple of hours, charging them, and then you cycle on them miles and miles and miles. As you're going down a hill now, it's now recharging. On this bike, it has regenerative braking, so it is charging the battery back up again now. So one way of recharging it without plugging it in, go to the top of a very tall hill and then go back down. But no bikes, doesn't matter what the make is, can be recharged by pedaling. I'm just saying that to clarify it. Oh, oh, <laughs> that is just, that is fantastic. That is like a, a huge step up from the other one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you have to pedal, but yeah. it really shifts. It really does go, yeah. So bring you around here, you've, yeah. got, you've got the dropout on the bike, right. and you have the frame. And this little tiny sensor here, yeah. when you pedal, you create flex between these two little plates, and that little sensor piece. picks it up, and that's how it knows how much power wow. to apply. So the harder you pedal, the more Because that's flex. the thing that you really notice. I, I stood up and pedaled to get yeah. it going, and it just rockets yeah. forward, and you go, my God, this is frightening. <laughs> and then if you just let your legs turn, yeah. it's still pushing you, but yeah. much, much gentler. So it, it, can, it can feel the difference. Between that's them. it. 
So when they say, so how much do these retail for? These are more expensive. Probably. Yeah, yeah. So for one of these, it's one nine nine nine. So two thousand right. pounds. To be honest, it's almost a moped. I yeah. mean, to call it a bicycle is almost like it's, it's, it, it goes like a moped. Yeah. But you can adjust it so that it, it, it's like gently pushing you. That's it. Pushing you a bit more, or like going. Let's, Let's just go. go for it. But I've just seen that. One. I can't help. Look, I'm looking over your shoulder <laughs> yep, at that one. What's that one? So this one is the Metro. So. You say close to a scooter. This, this is the closest really, yeah. you can get to a scooter right. without being a scooter. Right. Um, so it's power on demand, has a throttle. So again, if we stick you on it, okay. take it for a spin. Ooh. So now I'm cycling up a hill. And uh, as you may notice, I'm not actually pedaling. So this really is the cheetah's push bike because you don't need to pedal on this one. It's fantastic. I mean, you can pedal. But once to pedal, I can. But I don't have to. This is just so perfect. This is wonderful. I mean, it feels a, a lot more solid. It's got bigger tyres. The ride's really smooth and comfy. Uh, you know, it's a bigger, heavier bike. But it's just really, really nice to ride. It's just, <laughs> that is a, that's just, that's in a whole other league, isn't it? It's yeah. extraordinary how different that is. Mm. So, I mean, the thing is that it, feel, it does feel like a little moped, but you, yep. you don't need a, a, a license for it. I mean, nope. so it, it is effectively classified as an electrically assisted bicycle. bicycle. It, it, yeah. it feels like it's just <laughs> pushing those rules to the limit. Yeah, it? it's close. <laughs> and is that the same thing, though? Ba extractable battery? Yeah, rechargeable well, battery? you've got two versions. You have right. the extractable battery on the rear, which yeah. works the same as the previous bike, or you have the battery in the frame. And you can either have both fitted, which give you a range of 40 miles, maybe a right. bit more. Um, or you can have one or the other. I see. Oh. Can you plug that battery in without taking it out? Yeah, yeah, so right. the battery plugs in here. Oh. So presumably then this is going to cost more than the other two we've seen. This is yeah, a bit more. Yeah, this one's 500 more than the last one, so two and a half thousand. Oh, right. So I, get, I mean, again, I'm somehow expecting mm. it because it's an electric vehicle and it's going yeah. to be prohibitively <laughs> expensive. But actually, for what is effectively a little moped, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a very different beast. Very well, I think that's fun. Yeah. Wait a moment. Ooh. Oh, wow, look at that. Like so that. this is a Vectrix. So right. this is a fully electric scooter. So you do have to have a full motorbike license to you ride You need this. a CBT, compulsory basic training, which right. is a day's training. Right. And you need to have a helmet when yeah, you're riding it. Yeah, fits. Which fits. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, it's got lovely foot rests. Yep. Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. So Again, a really all. comfortable ride. I can, I can tell a lot of accelerative. Power, yeah. yeah. It looks quite sedate, the design of it. You don't think it's not going to be. Yeah, but you show typical torque, electric. Yeah. It... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly got a bit of torque. And oh, if you... I see what you mean then. So you're twisting that way. Yeah, so that way for acceleration. And then to slow down, wow. it's quite fierce. It is, isn't it? And that's it sounds a... like you put the brakes on. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Wow. And through traffic and you know, country lanes and yeah. everything else, you know, it does all the braking for you, really. But it makes it quite relaxing as well because, you know, it's one motion. Yeah. It's yeah. just forward and back on the throttle all the time. You spend more time looking where you're going. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this is a, a zero. Um, so this is capable of about 90 miles an hour. Wow. Uh, it really is uh, a fast bit of kit. Wow. Um, belt driven. Um, belt two different driven. sizes of battery pack spent on range, but you know, right. the maximum claimed range is up to 115 miles. Wow. Um, and that's, oh, you can see, I mean, it's, kind of, it's kind of very motorbike because you can see the motor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You see the, the belt comes in, the motor, you've got your pack in the middle, so right. it's quite well balanced. Is it? I mean, a, from the yeah. point of view of a bike, it's well balanced. Yeah, absolutely. You've got the, no petrol tank. Nope. So actually the weight is going to be, one, I mean, if you've got a full tank on a big bike, that's yeah. a lot of weight high up, isn't yeah, it? So which is all very low. sloshing round. Yeah. Whereas this yeah. is, you know, steady. So, <laughs> and um, obviously, to, to ride this, you do need a what is it, a CB? It's yeah, full license. Full for license. This one. Oh, full license. Yeah. For this. So you yeah. need to know how to ride motorbikes to ride yeah. this one. Yeah, because it's much more powerful, but it still has the regen, but it works in a different way. Right. So this one works when you roll off the throttle; it just slows down gently. Right. The regen. Whereas this one, obviously, you've got more power over the regen. Yeah. Um, and you've also got the the eco and sport button. Right. So, uh, depending on your mood. <laughs> right, so you can ride it gently and sensibly, yeah. like a sensible person, or you can go like a hoon. Yeah, as most do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and if you were to compare them to a petrol scooter, this is probably similar to sort of 250 to 400. Right. And this is most certainly a 400, maybe a bit more. Right. Oh, God, a 400cc bike, which is like, that's a big, powerful bike. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, go on, have a go on it. 
Yeah, I'm expecting this enormous amount of noise, which is what you're used to with motorbikes. Yeah. Sorry, but that... None here. Is it on? It's on now. That's it on. <laughs> And if you thought that was cool, we got something tucked up our leather sleeve in part two.